30 odd years of ticker tape parades. I don't think there's ever been an audience with this much adorableness and cuteness. I'm telling uh, you, I hope these the advertisers roof. are listening because that's their future. This is a huge audience. Absolutely. You guys better tap into this. And right now we're going to head out to uh, Diane Macedo. She is with a bubbly group right about now. Diane. but I'm pretty sure I found the best dressed people at the whole parade. I want to bring in Shannon from Middle Village here. Shannon, tell me a little bit about your outfit and why coming to this parade was so important to you. Uh, my outfit is a dress made of the American flag and I came to this parade to thank um, USA for the USA soccer team for doing this for us. Show me the poster that you made for today and explain what it means. It means most of the num players' uh -huh. numbers, and it also says Go Team USA and hashtag Girl Power and hashtag She Believes. And you play soccer yourself. What did it mean for you to be able to watch this victory on TV? It means to me that it was very exciting because usually, I, usually we play soccer and we don't really win, so it's very excited for me to see a girl team see a girl team win. Well, Shannon, you look absolutely great. We're so grateful you came over to talk to us today. Tell me your name and where you're from. Uh, Colleen from Long Island. And Colleen, you're from Huntington, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit. I know you guys all play together. What was it like for you to watch this victory and to now be here and see the team in person? It was so exciting um, to see the team in person. It was overwhelming and I couldn't like express myself like I couldn't even speak and you guys clearly got decked out for the event as well what was this ritual like um go big or go home so <laughs> <laughs> you gotta I don't know you gotta stand out in the crowd you definitely went big that's for sure tell me your name as well I'm Sarah Martino Sarah what I mean I know you guys watched the, the game as a team and what did this do for you as a team you think um well it inspired us mostly to become more like you if you work hard it pays off like so much and yeah, it just really inspired our team to work harder. And what's your name? Olivia. Olivia, what what did you, what dedicated, I mean, this involves a lot of dedication. Why go so far and why be here so early? I mean, because, like, we wanted to see them and support them and show how much we care about, like, the soccer program. And I thought this was unique, and I know I already asked you guys, so I know the answers, but I just want you to go one by one and tell me who your favorite player on the team is. Hope Solo. Alex Morgan. Julie Johnston. Abby Wambach. And Olivia, I mean, it's not every day that people come out, and this was the experience all morning. People come out and have a different favorite player. Usually there's one superstar. What is it about this team that makes people just love just about everybody on it? They're all, like like the same skill level like they all bring intensity and they all have something special about them that everyone loves do you think that that changed anything for you as a team and how you play together uh yeah like definitely like working together and like being strong as together as a team will like make a difference and what did it feel like for you to finally see all of those favorite players in person it was honestly incredible like seeing all of them in person they're like amazing and what is it do you find it inspiring to be able to kind of be able to to be here in real life after watching them on TV for so long? Yes, yeah, so inspiring. Like, I don't I was just speechless when I saw them, and it was just so exciting that you got to see them in person and all happy. And, and Amy, I mean, there were a ton of people out here today. How does that feed into all of this, to see this kind of outpouring of support for a team you love so much? It's so cool because you realize you're not the only person who loves this team and you want them to win. Like, you can to have everyone else support you when you're supporting the other team, so it's pretty cool. And Shannon, anything you want to say to the people who weren't lucky enough to be here today? Paint the picture for them. How exciting was it out here? It was very exciting, but even though they didn't come, I hope they enjoyed it at home watching, watching the game. We certainly do, too, and that, of course, is why we're here. We try to bring the experience to the people at home, and this is just a little bit of a taste of what it's been like here this morning. And this, this polling of favorite players, that's been what's happening to us all morning. It's really unique to see people come out, and everybody in the crowd has a different favorite player. No superstars here, though obviously the group does have some. The team itself does have some superstars in it. Everybody seems to have a different favorite player, and it just goes to show the level of teamwork that Team USA played with to make this victory happen, and it reflects in all the outpouring support of the people who have come out to watch them today. So it's been an amazing experience, and we will continue to cover this event for you and bring you all the excitement for all those who aren't lucky enough to to be out here. We hope you're enjoying the experience at home. Christina Maurice. Okay, Diane. Diane.